Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. You are watching Wolf of the Wild. How's it going? <laughs> How are you? So, today is kind of a little colder outside, but if I look on my phone here, it looks like we are past all of our frost dates. Now, I'm in Canada. Um, I'm in the province of Ontario. There's still chance of frost up until May 2-4 weekend, but we shall see. It looks right now that we aren't going under 2 degrees, so I'm going to take a chance and I'm going to start planting some more things outside. Not everything. As you can kind of see like behind me here <laughs> in my little greenhouse space, I have plenty of plants. I have like 50 tomato plants, cucumbers, peppers. I have everything in here. Of course, change oh my god sun of course of course changes my lighting as soon as I start filming of course um <laughs> I have plenty of stuff but we're gonna start planting some more things outside so I hope you're excited for that today I'm actually going to be planting some petunias these babies right here they're so gorgeous and also these little guys which I completely forget what they're called but they smell amazing and I want to create more like scented moments throughout my garden. So today is just all about planting some beautiful flowers. I'm going to go around and I also have some hydrangeas to plant and I'll show you new flowers that I've been planting around my garden. Plus things have, wow, that have started to come up. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. I personally stick to vegetables. I'm just a huge herb and vegetable type person. I prefer gardening um, things that I can eat. <laughs> so even my nasturtiums, is it nasturtiums? Nasturtiums, I can't even say it properly. These babies, you see these guys right here? Nasturtiums, I believe is how you pronounce it, it's crazy. These are all edible flowers. So even a lot of my flowers, these have beautiful multicolored little flowers. The whole plant is edible and they're kind of spicy peppery. So I tend to plant even my flowers, the ones that I can put in my salads because I don't know, it's just like my vibe. But anyways, <laughs> anyways, we're gonna be planting a lot of new flowers today. And I'm just going to show you some of the areas of my garden that I'm really proud of and flower updates. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's all. It's only 8 degrees out right now and it's kind of like super cloudy and a little windy. So I'm so sorry in advance if my audio isn't the best. I realized I filmed the video the other day and it was super windy and it's just, you can't even, there's no way. I would, I would be destroying your guys' ears if I actually published it. So I didn't even bother editing it. <laughs> I'm an idiot and I'm just getting back into filming these videos and I totally forgot that wind is a thing. So yeah, hopefully it's not too bad. That's why I'm going to try my best to film my intros, my outros in here when I can. But yeah, anyways, sorry, I, I make these intros way too long. Let's go and plant some petunias and, and no-name flowers. So this is where I'm going to be planting these cute little fragrant flowers and some petunias. This is actually the planter that I made last year. Um, out of my broken rain barrel and it's so lovely. I love it so much If I don't know if you guys I'll put that video right here because I've updated this area a lot since then We put in this, this gorgeous stone and also this really pretty little bamboo fountain that you can see and uh, You can also see all of these trees. These are very late blooming trees. They're just starting right now um, but when this wall comes in it looks stunning okay right now it's very janky and doesn't look that great because it's still dead well not dead but you know it's still getting ready to start producing leaves and flowers oh my god once this whole hedge comes in though it's gorgeous and i actually put in some extra little babies to fill in two blank spaces but i'm really excited um, for these to start going i want to do a beautiful little photo shoot here this year will be the first time with kind of this as a backdrop. Um, <laughs> don't mind the electrical cord. <laughs> the puppies will run through here all the time and bring it back up. Normally it's underneath the stone. But anyways, <laughs> I'm going to plant these. Here we have some 
um, hydrangeas here as well. And then uh, these are like beautiful purple bulby flowers that will be coming up as well as more hydrangeas, some white Nancy, some trailing stuff. But yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm gonna put these in here and fill up these planters a little bit. So by the time this tree, these trees come in, hopefully I can do a really pretty and sexy little photo shoot. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. I need this. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Kiara, good Kiara. No, <laughs> Kiara. Uh, little little guy. habit of like buying more than what I can fit because obviously you need room for things to expand but I also want it to be full right away you know what I mean <laughs> it's a problem all right yay I'm just gonna show you some of my other flowers that are flowering right now and my beautiful tulips and I got some daffodils in the yard and yeah I'll just show you around <laughs> are you good Nala are you both good are you done destroying my life So all of those cute little babies are in. I'm gonna give this a good little watering in a second, but I'm really excited for it to fill out. I think it's gonna be really gorgeous. And these are actually little solar lights that light up at night. They're really, really cute. Um, yeah, so that's about it. As you guys can see, the dogs are fighting. Um, I had to reseed this whole area this year. We were doing a lot of construction work and this was kind of like where my dad was doing a lot and the soil just never took to grass so I actually just reseeded it and I mean this doesn't help girls you aren't you aren't helping me um, but I have some more flowers in here and we've got daffodils and beautiful bulbs spring bulbs coming up in here and um, dogs fighting puppies be good come here come here come here Come here. I also just started planting some hydrangeas in this planter over here to add some color to it. Guys, let me tell you, this 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 baby right here is so moody. Okay, all the other hydrangeas are totally fine in this planter. And this guy is drooping every day. You moody, moody little monster. I'm starting to fill up this beautiful planter. Um, and hopefully have these hydrangeas come back every year, which would be absolutely lovely. This guy's being a little dramatic too. I gotta water them. Um, <laughs> I'll be doing that now. I literally just put them in not too long ago. And as you can see, the pond is starting to look beautiful too. Um, these are all fake flowers. I'm gonna actually remove them today, but we have some actual real flowers coming up in the planter. I did a photo shoot here recently, so I had to spruce it up. It's still really early in the spring, but uh, this tree was in full bloom, so I wanted to really take advantage of it. But yeah, that's um, that's the yard or my flowers. If you guys want a full tour of my space, let me know. I don't know. And Nala's eating poop. Of course, of course. 
I also just have some other like store-bought flowers and like I said more hydrangea that I want to put in the ground eventually and over here um, don't mind the carpet work work in progress <laughs> I have some beautiful tulips um, that a planter decided to smash so I lost a section <laughs> But um, I have some beautiful tulips coming up here on this little side planter. Um, <laughs> but look at this. I discovered that my dogs love eating tulips and tulip leaves. So I don't know if anyone else has experienced this, but they are obsessed with eating them. So at the beginning of the year, that's all they were doing were eating all of my bulbs. Not my bulbs, but the leaves. Making, <laughs> making them just look so sad. Um, but I definitely learned that next year I'm not going to be planting tulips low to the ground because they've definitely hindered them a lot. Um, but they don't touch daffodils and a few other flowers. So I don't know, it's weird. My dogs are super weird. But yeah, um, there's the sunroom right there looking like a hot mess. Nala found a, what is that? A calamansi? That's a, cal a little baby calamansi orange. You don't like it, do you? Probably don't. Are you eating it? It's very citrusy. But sure, okay. <laughs> Nala, how, how are you sitting? Oh my god, you're so cute. Oh my god. Last but not least, guys, I just wanted to show you this gorgeous flower bed. Um, this kind of like lines my property. Beautiful, like crazy looking black tulips. Oh, they're like so cool. And, um,. Obviously these beautiful daffodils. I have some Swiss chard that is thriving through the winter time um, Lots of daffodils and look at these look at this thing. Oh my god. It's crazy I want to plant more of these and put them in the sparse spaces for next year. Look at this. This is my hand It's it's the size of my whole hand. It's so beautiful and it has like this crazy red stripe down the middle like that's oh it's so pretty and more swiss chard and more big daddies but aren't these beautiful they're huge like i don't understand oh my god <laughs> all right guys um <laughs> we're back in the sunroom it's it's quite chilly out today um i have some more work in the yard i'm most likely going to put on like a another layer of sweatpants and a big sweater and finish planting those hydrangeas that I need to plant and a bunch of other things um but yeah whew, it's like six degrees celsius and it is windy so I'm kind of cold but thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this little mini garden tour flower garden tour and um planting some petunias with me uh lots coming up Please subscribe, please like this video if you enjoyed, and thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.